Hey guys, what's up? Lapo Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2017 action film John Wick Chapter 2, directed by Chad Stahelski, Stahelski uh, starring Lawrence Fishburne, Amber Rose, uh, John Wick himself. No, it's not his real name, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> um, so this film takes place literally the same week that the first film takes place. So many many more other people common is in this film many many more other people are in this are in this amazing amazing sequel it's two hours and two minutes long picks up right literally where the first movie beads off john is with his dog he gets a visit from a ghost of the past but before that he uh has to take his car back from vigo and uh yosef's relative um so it was vigo's brother and Yosef's uncle, who's also in the Russian, you know, family, um, who had John's car. So John kills all of the the people um, except the main man himself, saying professional courtesy, peace. And then he goes home with his dog, and then uh, Santino comes from back uh, from the past, right, with his Italian crew. So John just dealt with the Russian crew or a Russian family now he's dealing with the italian family now the thing that ties john to santino and his family is that santino's crew helped john do the impossible test to get out of the russian family haha -ha! so there's little backstory of there so more backstory within the legend baba yega himself john wick so the thing within the underworld that they're explaining is that um, John and Santino had a mark. So Santino has a mark on John. So that may, it's like a, you do this for me, uh, I do this for you kind of a thing. Or like, you eventually do something for me, I, you know, do this thing for you now. So the thing for you now was Santino and his crew helped John do the impossible test to get out, to retire, to be with Helen and his wife before Helen died and then all hell broke loose. But John owed him a debt. So he had to go to Rome to kill Santino's sister, so that way Santino can be on the high table and then eventually rule New York. There's this whole thing. So then after John fights Common for a very long time, awesome scenes in Rome, Amber Rose is this um, uh, mute individual who signs all the time. Awesome! Awesome bringing a signing mute assassin into the mix. Super cool watching all this Hitman stuff come about. So going from Rome back to New York... So it's Jersey, New York, and Rome. It's the three locations for this uh, thing. So there's the Continental Hotel in New York, but then there's the Continental Hotel in Rome, obviously the Roman version, the Italian version. So no business is to be handled, violence, no bloodshed, etc., within the Continental grounds, or therefore you are excommunicado. You are taken out, your license has been revoked, that's it, you're gone. Mostly meaning death. So, John eventually follows Santino back to New York, has this awesome killing spree in a museum. One of the coolest fighting sequences I've ever seen in any film. The greatest fighting sequence I've ever seen in any film goes to Kingsman the Secret Service, when there's that four to five minute battle scene in the church in Kentucky, set to Leonard Skinner's Freebird. Perfect. But this uh, museum sequence was flawless. Watching Keanu do all of these stunts and watching him just be this absolute perfect assassin is just mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Such a talented individual. Amazing. So then he, John eventually finds Santino in the Continental in New York. And Winston, who's the manager of the Continental, happens to be in the same lounge. And he's like, Jonathan, think about what you're doing. And then John eventually kills Santino. And then John meets with uh, Winston in Central Park to be excommunicado. But... Winston, as a professional courtesy in the history that he's had with John, which we still don't actually know, um, says, I have given you an hour, and then you're, it's international. The, the hit on you is now international, because Santino put a bounty out for him for $7 million. So now the bounty is going to go up, and Winston gives him an hour, and then the film ends with John running through Central Park and all these people getting text messages from the operators um, who are these awesome, awesome sets, awesome sets, awesome cinematography, awesome lighting, awesome costume, just perfect all around. Um, and then the, the, the thing is, does John escape New York within that hour time 
uh, grace period um, because he is officially excommunicado, but he's not officially, but he's not dead um, because of Winston's professional courtesy. So, which leads us into John Wick Chapter 3, which comes out very, very soon. Everyone is excited about it. I cannot wait because I know it's going to pick up exactly where this one left off. That's just how they make these films. They're just these gorgeous middle story films that make absolute perfect sense because you get the backstories, some of them, appropriately because everyone seems to know each other in the underworld. Wonderful. Mucho mahalo, guys.